Hello, welcome to Brock or Lane. Uh, this uh, this week I want to talk about the new Rangers. I've just got the new catalogue, the new Batman catalogue. Um, picked that up this morning. I've had the Hornby one for a couple of weeks now. Um, I think the general opinion is there's not a lot new in the Batman catalogue, apart from re-liveries, and I think that's probably true. I do agree with that. However, I think there's a lot um, that's been promised um, over the years from Batman, which still hasn't come out yet. So I think that was probably a good move not to announce too many stuff they can't do. I know they just moved factories, so they've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, but generally speaking, I really like Batman's range. I think there's a there's a good choice in there for everybody. Um, I especially like their catalogue. I think it's really well done. They always are. Um, that 90 on the front looks spectacular. Wrong era for me, but my God, I'm tempted by one of those. Um, yeah, so looking through, there's um, he's mostly re-liveries. Uh, there's a couple of um, new 009 layouts, uh, not layouts, locomotives and things, um, which uh, is probably going to suit me because I'm now doing a lot of 009 stuff. Um, they're doing a southern liveried uh, Baldwin uh, locomotive, uh, which is an imaginary one, and it's actually they almost nicked my idea because I was going to do one of those. I was going to do a wartime black one, but. Uh, Anyway, great minds think alike. One thing I really do like about the um, the Batman catalogue are some of these pictures. They really look really good. They really do inspire you to uh, to keep picking it up and looking at it. Not so much with the Hormy one, though. I do like the the pictures in the Batman one, I like these side-on views, big pictures. You see the front and the side, and there's a really nice flattering angle. Whereas the Hornby ones do tend to be small and side views on a white background which I really don't like very much I don't think they show off the models you know they look a lot better if they were positioned like the background ones are because I never think the side on view is a particularly flattering way to uh, to show locomotives and rolling stock they're the new um, little shunters that are coming out uh, I'd be interested to know how they run um, with the pickups on the uh, on the uh, little wagon as well. Um, bit of a, it sort of goes backwards and forwards between ears. You know, I, I find the back one much easier to uh, to look at, and I want to pick up a lot more often. Um, but uh, I also like the way that they sell these in Tesco's. Now. I bought that from my local Tesco's, which is really handy. Um, but one thing that worries me about this hobby is um, people that watch. Um, our videos like uh, Everard Junction and Dave 47 you're doing Dean Park Station and really want to get into the hobby and they might go into the local mod shop and buy one of these catalogues and look at the prices and have a heart attack and never never touch the hobby again and um, so I wanted to make the point in this video that um, there is a lot of second hand stuff out there you don't have to pay the top prices and with that in mind this morning I did uh, go to Rails of Sheffield they have got a full second hand department and they allowed me to film it. Um, so everything you see coming up here is uh, their little separate second hand only shop. Uh, apart from the Hans Peas, but uh, apart from that everything else in there is second hand. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, they let me film. So um, here we go, and uh, this is what I saw.
to the uh, East Lakes that we do on the same weekend as that. But what we're hoping to run for the first time in service from Darla Road. Is that the time? Yeah. That would yeah. be a good, good attraction, actually, I think. Yes, that. Because it's, it's been there a long time. 30 years it's been there. 30 years it's been there. Yeah. We've seen the, the, the railway go there, stand the tank up and go in again. Maybe we'll go later. We've got that one again. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is, as you call it, the one.